Yo, dude, this episode is going to contain mature content. We're definitely talking about titties and all that. So, like, you know, if you got kids and you don't want them to hear, this is your time to get them out the room, man. This is your trigger warning. My shiny teeth and me, shiny teeth, shiny, my shiny teeth and me. Uh, what's up, y'all? This is Just Kicking It. And uh, today, today we're talking about sex. Sex, the rump housing, the rump, rump rangers, the, the, the fucking, that's what we're talking about today. I've talked to a couple people, you know, but for the majority of us, we all seem to enjoy sex and some of us enjoy the things that come with it. Uh, <laughs> me personally, I, enjoy, I, I enjoy the actions, the, the doing of the sex, fucking, I don't know. I don't know. It's very weird. It's a weird thing to think about. Like, when you think about it, like... Okay. There are two germs, right? These germs, they grow up. They, they, they get fingers. They get eyeballs. One of them gets a dick. And the other one gets, like, a hole, right? And they're just going about their cavemen-like things, you know? Cave things. Hunting dinosaurs, probably not fucking dinosaurs yet, and just, you know, one day, hopefully the homegirl's like, hey, what's up? And dude's like, ah, yeah, because like, other than that, bro, like, how the fuck, like, is it just in our genetic, I mean, obviously, it's probably in our genetic code to just fucking mate, you know, but like, no pun intended, but like, it's crazy, because like, my first introduction to sex, bro, is literally like, uh, I'm like, I'm like, five, you know, maybe, maybe six, and I'm like, sneaking in my mom's room, dude, I don't remember what the fuck I'm doing, I think I'm trying to play with toys or something, and I just see like, this sick ass flashlight, bro, and I'm like, yo, I could use this, I grab it, you know, and I'm like, about to go show my mom, I'm like, yo, you got this flashlight, I've been needing a flashlight, you didn't let me know, yeah, bro, I'm a, I'm a fucking six-year-old handyman, bro, I need things, and she's like, Daniel, that's my name, my name's Daniel, put that back right now, that's not a flashlight, and I'm wondering, like, she says this in such a, such an abrupt tone, and I'm just wondering, like, what, what did I do wrong, it's a flashlight, mom, and as I grow older, I realize, that was never a flashlight, it was a fucking vibrator, and I held it. I held it right where it penetrates my mom. <laughs> so fucking gross. I've boiled my hand annually on the day since. But it didn't scar me forever, you know? I was 14, maybe 13, and then this one girl, she was just like, hey, you want to have sex? And I was just like, <laughs> duh. Dude, and it was crazy because I had never had sex before at this point. If you couldn't tell. And, like, I was just in there. And it was, like, the best thing ever. And I don't even know how to even explain it. Like, I want you to go get a glove. Put Vaseline in the glove. Put it in the microwave. 30 seconds. A little bit of water. Put your hand in it. Squeeze it. And try to think of the person you love the most. <laughs> that's what that's what that felt like to me. <laughs> and boy, when I tell you I came so motherfucking fast, I fucking uh, five times easily. And it was so upsetting because it wasn't her first time. But she knew it was mine. <laughs> There's just so much, so much to learn about sex. And I love where we've come as like a species and everything, you know, with the spectrum and people being on the spectrum or being off of it. I'm not too sure exactly how that works. But, you know, people coming into their own and feeling comfortable to be like, nah, dude, I don't like boys. Nah, dude, I don't like girls. I honestly don't like anyone. And honestly, I don't even fucking align with any of these fucking things. And I just do my own thing. I fuck with that shit so heavy. Because, like, also as a person like me, I like sex. But I don't care for it all the time. I don't necessarily crave it, I should say. I maybe crave the person, but not the act itself, you know? It's never really on my mind, like, oh, bro, I need to get fucking pussy. Oh, my God. I'll be chilling. It's so cool to see that I'm not weird. I mean, I'm weird, but, like, not like that. Like, it's okay for me to not always want sex. Is that is that wrong? Like, 
Am I not a man? Am I not a dude? You know? And so it kind of fucks you up, right? But then you meet someone and they're like, hey, I want you to choke me. And you're just, <laughs> oh, we, we. Like, the act of sex is fucking weird. Like, bone bone. Or as it's become popularized today, collapse doggy. That's my shit, brother. I love that. And I've loved that position since, like, I was beating my little meat to duck water. Like, I think that was the first time I ever, like, actually came across the position was in sixth grade, summer, and just straight yanking it, buddy. I'm talking about I'm putting in more work than I am at shifts. You know what I mean? And, like, boy, when I tell you that little bean is going to work, nigga, my shit was in overdrive, kid. Collapse doggy. Missionary, of course. Everybody loves a good missionary position, especially when you're looking into their eyes or their soul. And you're just like, yeah, I own you. For this brief period in time, your soul is mine. <laughs> doggy's cool, but Doggy's kind of played out. And I, I only really like Doggy when I'm trying not to bust quick. <laughs> Man, okay, you know the one where, like, homegirl's on her side, you're, like, up. It's like a L, or y'all are both perpendicular. That's my shit. Um, legs up, holding them over the head. That's my shit. Deep in there like a motherfucking sandwich. That's my shit. And then the one where you just fucking... You... Mm. Let's get some friends in here. Let's see what their favorite positions are. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. What's your favorite sex position? Uh... <laughs> man, I like it when the <laughs> the bed. <laughs> Put a pillow under her little front belly part and get that little butt tooted up <laughs> oh, what the fuck so it's like a collapsed doggy yeah pretty much yep all right my, my. hey bro what's up what's your favorite sex position <laughs> i get an answer is going too <laughs> um, probably like Decide when you first wake up in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> You're like just both like spooning, I think is what they call it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yo, I fuck with both y'all. Y'all got some good taste. All right, bros. Dude, I hope I figure out the FaceTime thing and I can get that up there. Cause if not, uh, it's screenshots, baby. I don't care. <laughs> yes, sir. Are you around your mom or anything? No. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> what's your favorite sex position? Oh. <laughs> God damn, what the fuck? <laughs> this episode's over sex. <laughs> and Katie right there too, huh? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bro, so you know, uh... What is it like? Like lay down, doggy. Yo, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. Let's go, bro. We are four for four right now. <laughs> oh, say less, bro. I thought that that was like an outlandish one. Too. Oh, my. Dog, that's my favorite. <laughs> oh, say less. Okay. All right. <laughs> bro, it's me, you, Zane, and Hayden. So far, four for four. We out here. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm right now. I'm just getting to pull everybody. <laughs> Say less. Bro. Say less. All right, bro. Uh, I'm gonna tell you when I put this episode out. <laughs> Say less, bro, bro. All right, man. <laughs> You're welcome, bro. Love y'all. Love you, man. Bye. <laughs> four for four, baby. Collapse doggy on the side. Come on now, like, bro. It's it's peak, dude. Like anything. Okay, because this is me. This is my whole sexual thing. Like, I like being in a position where I can bring pleasure to all areas and still choke or be able to have the freedom of my hands. Collapse doggy on the side, any of that. I can choke, grab titties, fucking booty hole, fucking grab on, look at the booty, fucking, we can make eye contact, you know, turn that face around. Uh, nigga, like, all that. Yo. Hey, bro. What's up? What's your favorite sex position? <laughs> um, honestly, 
any kind as long as I like, get to have sex. <laughs> this is <yeah. laughs> That's fair. <laughs> is that your final answer? <laughs> that is my, without a doubt, final answer. <laughs> this is the good. Casey right next to you, huh? <laughs> She's <like> yeah! <laughs> All right, so we got four for every position I said, and then we've got one for every position. <laughs> the ultimate tiebreaker. You know who this is. You'll hear it as soon as we answer the phone. He honestly might steal the show. Man, I wish I could leave a voicemail. If I could leave a voicemail, a FaceTime voicemail, you would know I'm hurt. I'll put it in the video. I'm going to try to call him back one more time. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, you heard it here, buddy. <clears throat> Some of the, f we all have said, oh, look at that. Look at who decided to call me back. Hey, bro. Uh, what's happening, Pip? I just wanted to know, what's your favorite sex position? I'm in the car with my grandma, but I'm going to have to say oh. Amazon. You're going to have to, well, I'm so sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Good, bro. I'm gonna I'm I'm say just for fun, reverse Amazon. Okay, I won't even ask you to explain that, bro. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have a good day, bro. Y'all stay blessed and <laughs> drive safe, bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, uh, that brings that to a wrap. And uh, thanks for kicking it, guys. This has been just kicking it. I just wanted to make something quick and fun. Oh, my goodness. That was wild. <laughs>